Guys, this video is for everyone that cannot wait for the official class showcase from Blizzard in a month. So today, I want to share with you the leak of all the details of the new Spiritborn class that's coming to Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred. The Spiritborn is a nature-based class that's centered around four skill traits. We have Sky, Soil, Forest and Plains. Each of these traits has between 3 to 5 attacks attached to them, which we will take a closer look together in this video. The primary resource the Spiritborn will use is called Vigor and you will most likely be able to gain it on kill. Sorry to interrupt, but a short self-promotion is needed. Currently 98.9% .9 of the viewers are not subscribed to the channel. Even though we are reaching nice numbers of like up to 20k views and 400 likes almost. So please, let's do a deal. You watch this video all the way to the end and if you learned something new about the Spiritborn class, then you have to subscribe. So let's start with the first sky attack. This one is called Razor Wings and it's a range AOE attack that creates a cloud on top of the enemy. You can follow this attack up with your skill Soar, which allows you to target the cloud go into the air with your wings and descend on the cloud's location. Another option would be the Bat Swarm that you can send out to hunt down your enemies and perk it to either make the bats explode on contact or doing an AOE electric attack. If you really feel freaky, you can also make the bats leave behind a trail of smoke in which you can hide. The last sky attack I found is the Watcher's Wally which is a range attack that allows your wings to be loaded up by lightning and then shooting out feathers onto your enemies. The next trade out of the four is Soil. Here I found three confirmed attacks and two skill names with no further explanation. Let's start with the first attack called Spore Pot, which allows you to place a poisonous mushroom on the ground which will burst after a period of time and then fumes and spores that are set free from the mushroom do heavy poison damage on your enemies. Next up is what I believe is the mobility skill of the Spiritborn. It's called Pounce and it allows you to shapeshift into a panther, which fur color can be controlled by your character's hair choice. So choose wisely when you create your character for Vessel of Hatred. The third attack I was able to locate is the Leech Harvest, which allows you to regain your HP by pulling the blood of poisonous enemies around you towards yourself and consuming it to get back your precious health points. For two skills that were in the skill list of the Spiritborn, Pestilence and Devourer's Rake, I was sadly not able to find any additional information. Next up is the trade that I am looking for the most and this is the Forest Rake. Here I found the attack Hunter's Claw, which I believe will have different on-hit effects depending on if you hit with your right or with your left claw allowing for interesting new strategy. And for the lazy under us, there will also be a shapeshift called Tree Warden, which I want to believe with all my heart allows me to transform into a little mini Groot, which is my favorite superhero by far. And this shapeshift will apply forms, allowing for the popular ha ha ha, you hit me, you're dead build that so many of us enjoy. I will promise that if this comes true and in Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred my Spiritborn can transform into a little mini crude with forms, I will fury craft day and night until I can make this build work. Promise. For the forest trade, I also found three skills without further explanation, which are Dreadful Spiders, Viper Pit, Vine Hook. This will allow for speculations on might having minions like a necromancer. Most likely the Spiritborn will be able to control bats, spiders and snakes and the vine hook will probably be a skill like Blitzcrank's Fiat Q allowing you to pull enemies towards you. Now let's come to the final trait, Planes, which starts with a defensive orientated skill called Vicious Parry that allows the Spiritborn to indulge himself in flames making him able to dodge every incoming attack. This skill can be combined with the attack Ruthless Slash, which will make your weapon light up with fire, greatly increasing your strength and dealing high burst damage. So if you are like me, then you are still thinking about, oh, it's so cool that you can control all those animals. 
So I want to close the video with a banger. You will be able to control your own sandworms, which you can send after enemies to bite them with their poisonous fangs. So welcome to real life Dune in Diablo 4. And thanks a lot for watching. If any questions are open, let me know. I will answer all comments in less than 24 hours like always. Cheers guys. Bye.